Hey guys, in this video we'll look at how we can use a Lambda function to read a text file from a S3 bucket. We'll also look at how we can trigger the Lambda function to run every time we upload that text file to S3. This is fairly simple and a common practice for reading text files. So let's go ahead and create our S3 bucket. This is fairly simple. We just need a unique bucket and we won't make any changes. We're going to keep everything as default. Let me think. Uh, so let's just scroll down. We're going to leave all the default settings and it create bucket. Now that we have our bucket, we can actually go ahead and set up our Lambda function. So I'm going to go to Lambda. And create function. And I'll call this text reader. And I'm just going to use Python 3.8. For the execution role, we're going to create a new role However, once we create that role, there is a second step and we need to add the permission to allow the Lambda function to actually read from the S3 bucket. There is actually a much easier way to get that done right away. And we can take a look at that once it's created. So we're gonna create a new role from a policy template. And let's call this file reader. And the policy that we need is from S3. And this will give us the permission for read or get object. So go ahead and check that. And let's hit create function. And this should just take a minute. Now if we go to configuration, and this is just a simple code that we get, let's go to configuration and permission. We should see that role that was created. Let's take a quick look. And if we scroll down, we should see the policy that gives us access. Now if you want to lock this down a little more, you can go in and just put the iron for the bucket so that this policy can only read from that bucket. But for now, this should work. And I'm just going to close that. And let's go back to code. Now typically we want to work with these code in some type of editor. I'm just going to copy this into Visual Studio Code. I already have a text file and we'll look at that in a minute. Let me close this. I'm just going to create a new file here and then we'll copy and paste. So let's call this file reader.py. And we want to import, actually let's paste what we have from or console and let's import Bodo tree and this is how we're going to interact with the s3 resource so we haven't used this yet it's complaining and let's go ahead and move this out so in order to tap into s3 we want to create a client that we can use to read from the bucket so let's go ahead and create a client so that we can interact with s3 this will be of type S3. Now that we have our client, we can actually tap into the object. But let's set up a few more things. We need a bucket and we'll copy and paste the bucket name and we also need the key and that will be the name of the file we'll be uploading. So we know the bucket, the key will be movies that text and the bucket would be the bucket that you just created. Now that we can have that, we wanna save the data object using the client. Let's find that we created earlier. And there is an object or a function called get object. Accepts a few a few arguments, the two that we are interested in is the bucket. And that will be the S3 bucket object we created. And the key, 
and that will be the bucket key. So this should give us the data from S3, right? So actually, let's try to print this and see what we get. So let's copy this. I'm going to paste this. I'm going to deploy the function. And I'm also going to go over S3 and make sure a file is in the bucket that we just created. So let's open up that bucket and let's open up the file. So let me reveal this and I'm going to drag this over. And hit upload. And let's go ahead and run our function. We need a test object. Let's call this test. And we'll leave this as default. We just need an event that will trigger this uh, lambda function. Let's hit test. And here we should see a bunch of JSON data. So let's scroll to the end of this. And we should see the stream object. So we need this body. Here, of course, it's not in text yet. So let's go back to our code and let's try to decode that data. So let's say we need the file content and that will be of type from the data object and body, and we will read. So if we print file content, this should give us the data that we need. Let's go ahead and test that. And here we are seeing the names of our movies. However, we're seeing we're getting all the new line characters as well. So let's see if we can actually print that much cleaner. We should be able to decode. There's a decode function that we can use and that should give us the data as plain text. So let's go ahead and test that. And there we go. So we have our list of movies. Now the second part I want to look at is how can we trigger this lambda function automatically once we upload an object. And that is very simple. So if you're in your Lambda function, we want to add a trigger. And the source will be S3. Let's look for S3 bucket. And we want to leave it as all objects created events. And that means whenever a new object is created or pushed to the bucket, we can trigger uh, our Lambda function. Now if there's a path, let's say the bucket as add a some type of folder um, structure or path we can go ahead and specifically say it as well as the extension now this you have to check uh, it's very important right um, what they're recommending is let's say we are uploading that movie's text and we're going to do some type of processing on it we don't want to upload it again to the same bucket because then you'll have some type of infinite loop and your costs may exponentially grow so the recommendation is have a second bucket if you're going to edit that file that you can upload it to. So this is something just to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and add. And now that we have that trigger, if we go to our bucket, let me close this. And if I go to my bucket and if I upload a new file or the same file, this time actually let's make let's make some changes and add some additional movies right I love watching the matrix especially and three so let's go ahead and save this save all and now let's go ahead and upload it to s3 And that was very quick. So let's go back to our Lambda function. And if we go to monitor, you could take a look at the metrics. Uh, this doesn't show everything. It does take a while to stream in. But one very good
good place to look is in CloudWatch logs. So let's hit view logs. And if we look at the last one that was triggered, that hasn't caught up yet. So let's see what we missed. Let's go back to a file. We have 659, 7, Let's take a look. So our function did work, right? The log just showed up in the same. So if we scroll all the way down, we see the changes. So since that has closed out, let's add a not so favorite one to the list and let's try to upload that again. And we should get that in a log. I'm going to upload. And it's successful, so it closes out and go back to our Lambda function or to the CloudWatch logs. Let me just open that up. And there we are, or a new metrics for. So that's how easy it is to upload files to S3 and trigger or read any type of file. This could be CSV, JSON, or any data like that. Thanks for watching.